Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of INTJ Talk and Happy New Year. New Year, same us. <laughs> but I hope you guys had a really great New Year. You stayed safe. You had fun. You saw family and friends. Hope you had a good holidays, all of that. So I'm so happy to be back and to share another episode with you guys. So this episode is about the INTJ and their problem with authority. Or might I add, people's assumption that we have a problem with authority. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start off by saying I don't think INTJs have an issue or a disdain for people in authority. And of course, I know I sound biased because I am an INTJ. But I think some people assume that we don't do well with authority due to how we present with the world. So we're already seen as being standoffish or being to ourselves. We're not too talkative to people. And this doesn't really change around anyone. Even if they are, you know, in a higher position, we still act the same regardless. Regardless of if we're talking to a janitor or the CEO, it's still the same. And I think that the only quote unquote issue that we have with authority is if they're not competent. Like, honestly, that's really it. I absolutely love having bosses or managers or anyone in a place of authority who actually knows what the hell they're doing. It makes everything so much easier. I remember that I had a job back in college and we had this manager. She came in to take the place of another manager who quit and who I will add was very competent. So this new manager came in. She didn't know what was going on didn't even try to learn the system that we used, the processes, anything. She was just really a waste of space. <laughs> okay, that sounds bad to say. But basically, my issue was she would try to throw her weight around, talk about numbers and stats that we weren't hitting. And it was like, girl, you don't know how anything runs here. So it's that you're telling us how to do our job when you don't even know how to do your job. Like she was literally just there. That's it. She didn't contribute anything. And I will say, and this is probably true for you too, but when it comes to an incompetent person, and especially one in a leadership role, I will disregard anything you tell me because to me, you have no standing. And I'm already a no-nonsense type of person to begin with. Like, I'm not mean or anything, but when it comes to people, I'm usually just pretty neutral. So you can already see how that played out for me. Thankfully, I already have my exit plan in place for that job because that woman was trying to have my head on a chopping block, okay? All because I didn't show her the respect she felt she needed just because she was a manager and a horrible one at that. But she ended up getting fired not soon after I quit. So this just shows that it wasn't all in my head. But outside of her, I've had good managers who knew what was going on, who knew how to lead a team. So I have no issues with authority, just the bad ones. And I think this rings true for INTJs in general. We like things to be in order and for people in charge to actually know what's going on. So if you're going to be in a leadership role, actually know what you're doing. And if not, step down and let someone else who does know what they're doing do it. And even if a person is in a role of authority and doesn't know everything that's going on, I mean, there's always room to learn and to try to figure things out. So honestly, that's not even an issue either. It's just the people who come into these roles who have no intentions of doing what they should be doing and thinking people will respect them just because. Like, no, that's not how any of this works. So let me know in the comments below if you've experienced anything similar to that or if you've ever had someone say you have an issue with authority. And I will see you in the next INTJ talk. Bye.